That boy Brick Baby been breaking the internet lately. He known for turning it down, apologizing, and coming out the closet with Adam 22. So as y'all know, he had beef with P Nice and his brother DW Flame. Brick Baby was crashing left and right. It was entertaining to the world. Next thing you know, he going at it with ATK members yelling at his phone, making videos. Then he got on a live stream with the well-known ATK member that goes by the name of Rack Racer GMK, top-ranked ATK member. And Brick immediately turned it down. He apologized in front of thousands of people after he said he will have one of their OGs whack one of them. Then he said he had their low and all other crazy type of stuff. But before we get into this video, I'm not going to lie. I've been appreciating everybody that's been rocking with me. Let's make sure we hit that like button and subscribing. If you're new, make sure you like the video and subscribe. But let's get into this clip I want y'all to see. Let me know how y'all feel about it in the comment section. I reply to all comments and I like everything. Come on, though. Let's go slither through Zestyville, no jumper, and see how Zesty, Brick, and Adam22 get with each other. They're already or affiliate because at this point they're bragging about it too much so it's like the person that did do it should be shaking in their boots right now because it's like everybody screaming atk atk so it's like all they really now that right there that's a little too much man they not even getting on here talking about it and brick making his way to speak on something he knows nothing about. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this, man. This some this some this some nasty work, man. Break, break, break. Been crashing, man. Been crashing out, bro. Perks, man. You you having a perk battle right now, my boy. Gotta chill out, break. Ricky break. Really gotta do is I'm not even gonna say it, cause that's the public. They, if the police started doing something when they pulled everybody over, most would be in trouble if they really did it. You get what I'm yeah, saying? Like, like, yeah. But at the end of the day, I feel like maybe like how we got homies over here and they right here, like maybe it was one of them calls. Like, you get what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. the credit, the amount of credit that they're taking for it in a time of you know you're going to get life for knocking that dude down is crazy. So basically what you're saying is they wouldn't be that dumb if they actually really did that to implicate I feel like they're smarter than that. Lush, shut up. You know exactly what he's saying. I'm trying to, yeah, you know. I'm on to you. I'm on to you. Wins low from cat dog. We on to you, man. Just shut up. I yeah. just feel like it's like a third party. They might have been hands on, hands off. Uh, if I want to get somebody smoked in Santa Ana, I'm just going to ask Kelby to take care of them for me. So the easiest call. I'm calling the joint. It's over. Yeah. You think Drex can do it? Maybe <laughs> yeah. they can come together. Yeah. Yeah, nah, that, that, he might. Kelpie might not make it up out of there either. So, hey, just couldn't even stop moving. Does Drex count as a as a black second? Yeah, is that man. what people mean when they say that? Yeah. Well, when when, For when sure. people say black second, do you hear the type of questions this dude asks? Man, he's obsessed with races. Why? We never hear nothing about the Caucasian man when it comes to him, unless he acting like he a, a brother. Y'all don't peep the play. He do whatever, whatever for the chili. And that's where Flacco getting it from. That's where Brick getting it from. They want to be like Adam 22, bro. Point blank and simple. Typically, it's like half black, half Mexican. But oh, okay. no, it's mean, not. Like, it's a, it's Blacksicans a, it's are Americans who are both black and Mexican like American descent. Okay, that's a yeah. Google definition. Yeah. I'm going to speak for the Same blacks. Different. Yeah. yeah. When they over there, and they it could be full black, and they get put on a black neighborhood, or he could just be like hanging. And just off brick, telling Adam sixteen all this information, he's gonna take it upon himself to feel like he knows what a black skin really is, which in fact he doesn't. So this is the type of plays they be pulling off at No Jumper, man. It's all. Rick know what he's doing, man. You see him over there perked up. Adam told him, just follow me, man. Follow me, son. 
nigga with him and got yeah. the high socks and say fool like, right. no, I'm like he a black again. Well, so sock check. It. Yeah, Retracted. sock check for yeah. sure. Sock check. But speaking of Fulio, what about this? Like, th there's a lot of weird stuff that's been going on. They went from fool to Fulio. He just keep covering. Like, why? Why are they not talking about Trump? Didn't Trump just almost get assassinated? Why they can't talk about Trump, bro? Why Adam keep talking about the Mexicans and the blacks? What's going on? Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this in the comment section. But look, if y'all made it this far in the video, what I need y'all to do is hit that like button, man. Make sure y'all hitting that like button. Then, if you're new to the channel, you could go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And yeah, man, tune in to some more content we got on the way. Yeah, man, appreciate everybody rocking with me in the comment section. Make sure y'all most definitely commenting down below so we can get going in the chat, have our own little personal conversations. Yeah, man, let's get to it. On with his Instagram account, and I think this is the first time that we've seen the family just immediately take control of the Instagram account and start <laughs> doing whatever, but three students expelled after a teacher was caught viewing their OnlyFans during class. So it's becoming a media page essentially? Like, I mean, this is like OnlyFans promo. Like, people offer uh, us money to post stuff like this and like, uh, th this is like, I'm pretty sure this is like fake slash misleading because like, could you imagine the story actually being true? Why would the students be expelled if the teacher was viewing their OnlyFans during class? He's so lost. I think they were expelled because they put that on the screen and thinking the teacher didn't know. Y'all know how these kids be out here, man. They be doing the most. So, yeah, man, Adam just, man, he's uh, under 16. He's just lost in the sauce, my boy. It's like it doesn't even make sense. Yeah. And there's no comments. So Why was the teacher caught viewing it? He didn't catch them on OnlyFans. You're telling me yeah. the teacher doesn't know what he's putting up on here? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's kind of confusing. <laughs> but even this one, right? Like, I'm pretty sure, like, I've seen. Mistakes happen. I've seen pages posting OnlyFans promo that was basically like Adam22 left his wife for this hot college senior. Mm. And then it's like a picture of a random girl that I've never seen before in my life. And then it's a still from a plug talk episode with another girl who is not the girl in the photo. And I'm just like, okay, so seriously, like pe people are getting paid like 400 bucks or whatever to like see how happy he is. He real happy. He wants the kids and he wants it to be advertised. He feel like that's an accomplishment, man. It's the type of guy you guys are just watching. Post fake news about me leaving my wife. I'd like, yeah. I'm just not going to do it. I'm not going to do anything. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. But it's like, it's weird. Like, <laughs> this is the world we live in that that's like how shit is promoted. Like, what the fuck? He said, I'm not going to do anything. Like, I, I'm not well known that. that like you guys yeah. are just using me in this. Like, sure. okay. Like, I, I didn't know. But you got a trophy, like a big, big trophy that you said. Wow. And I would love to tell you guys about some new stuff that we have in here. First, on a more respectful note, we, we do have the, uh, I forget what it's called, the, uh, the, the, What's the Draco thing? The, the, like the funeral. Boosie gets on the phone and is basically like, I don't fucking know I this don't guy. Know you why? Why? Exactly. Yeah. Like, not even, he didn't even take it there. He was just like, I don't know this dude. Like, yeah. I, don't, I don't know if he's lying or not, but I, I I'm just removing that call. So yeah, y'all know the white dude that he was just talking about the glove, the trophy he got and all that. Man, Adam then got messy and called Boosie, man. And tried to get them to talk on the phone knowing damn well it was going to go left, bro. He just be thirsty for the content. And it's starting to give me Flacco vibes. And Flacco give me Bender 16 vibes, bro. They just got the same agenda. They're weird. Oh, because it was just too crazy. But now I've realized Boosie thinks that No Jumper is an anti Boosie platform now. Oh, because oh, you wow. got Wack calling him a snitch. You got Gangsta Williams coming on here and talking about him or whatever. And then you got this dude. To me, that's not that tell? much. Uh, yeah. So, well, I mean, Gangsta and, and Boosie have gone back and forth. Like, they've, they've dissed each other. No. I, oh, you're uh, saying yeah, who did he tell on? Yeah, yeah. Well, I would not even that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm about to look that up. Go yeah, but yeah, I, I, I think it's, it. I haven't seen anybody. I definitely got that content, man. Make sure y'all scroll down and find that Boosie content under the video section. Nine times out of ten, it's in the reaction section. So, yeah, man, I got that work, man. We got that content, man. They were being ran that. So, yeah. Let's go, y'all. Let me know how y'all feel about that content. 
Everybody That's say that seriously. Boosie ain't feeling Terrence. Yeah, they hate each other. Yeah, he don't feel him telling on dead people. And That's to be true. fair, like Boosie has said the craziest shit ever about Terrence Gangster Williams. She yeah. said he was he fucked 10, 15 punks while he was locked wow. up. Like he had like such specific <laughs> accusations. I mean, how can you go against it when you got pictures of you with your homie sitting on your lap? Ah, brick. You done woke Boosie up. You know Boosie finna come for your top, bro. You should have just kept quiet and left it at that. Now, you got another city that's going to be at your neck. No will come with that. So, yeah, man, y'all let me know how y'all feel about Brick. Steady inserting itself and all this stuff. Like, did, he, did, he, did you ask him about those pictures with here or were you scared? I didn't ask him about that because I hadn't actually seen those photos until after, or at least I had forgotten. I erased it from my memory. Yeah. But to be fair, this is the same city in which Birdman, the, the most gangster of gangster motherfuckers, kissed his son. You know? It's like, so. It's his son. So that's how you know everything is scripted, right? Because. Brick knew exactly what he was finna talk about, right? So these two zest buckets, right? They're gonna go into detail, right? About Birdman and Lil Wayne kissing. We been, we bled them when there was no Instagram. You hear me? So yeah, yeah, man. Adam 22 is coming out of the closet with him and Brick Baby, man. Brick Baby is zesty. Zest. Though. So Terrence Gangster Williams is the most gangster ass hitman on the face of the fucking planet, and he had the homie sitting on his lap. Why don't we try it? Come on over here. <laughs> Sit on my lap. Sydney, st see this? I would have told Adam, "Tell your wife to come sit on my lap." Break laughing, teasing. Adam's serious though. Look at look at his face. Look at him. He don't look serious to y'all. All right, sit on my lap, fool. <laughs> hey, don't respect <laughs> like that being, dude. <laughs> okay, just kidding. I'm not disrespecting your Crippen because I can already hear ODM Slim starting his fucking engines. And yes, ODM Slim pushed start. He pushed to start the wheel. And you know he's coming at your neck. So shut up. Shut your mouth. About to start commentating on that one. <laughs> but in general, all I'm saying, down there, New Orleans... It's cool. Don't say that. The killers I, are doing some zesty no, shit. Oh, wait. I've been starting this New Orleans platform thing that I'm trying to. Don't say that. He wants to be like Adam so bad. So bad. He just tries to fit in with Adam so bad. Thirsty. Leeching off, bro. But he just pull up high. And, and just agree to all these zest allegations. Let me know how y'all feel about Brick Baby, man. He's been, he been crashing out lately. What are you doing? You're doing the gangsters from New Orleans to come down here and tell their war stories. Okay, well, they're going to have to let us know how they feel about letting the homie sit you on your lap. You them zesty Crips, though, out the rip. They're not Crips, are they? Who's the Crips? I'm just saying, period. Yeah. Like thirsty Crips. Oh, yeah. The thing is, You're like, a Crip. Out, out, out there, like, <laughs> you don't think there's a distinguished difference between, like, kissing someone on the cheek or like just the kissing thing that's done with amongst family members well, Birdman did on i mean brick is the wrong one to ask because man we got that content too make sure y'all click the card up at the top and yes big baby was twerking yes he was he was twerking so make sure y'all go find that content on my page and yeah man we got brick twerking in 4k man Mouth. But that's like a frequent greeting in Europe, fools. You know what I mean? But the, where is it culturally acceptable to sit on a lap? Yeah, that shit was a little weird. But to me, you don't care. think sitting on a lap is like gayer? Okay, I'm going to be honest with you. No. Well, I've seen, seen Birdman kiss Wayne and them on the lips like back in the day. Don't like, say them. But I appreciate it to other dudes as well, right? Uh, no, nah, you can't just say I don't know. But either way, I remember seeing that. Now y'all know Wack 100 from the plane Brick and Adam up. I bet you Wack 100 say he got a call, man, from Birdman and he wasn't feeling this. Let's bet. Right down in the comment section and let's make a bet. Let's lock in. A million fucking years ago and it was like 
I was like, oh, they're they're so mafia. They're so exactly. they're right. they're such criminals. They're right. so gangster that they're willing to push the limits of how gangster yeah, they are it. or how yeah, how close it. they are to their homies by showing that they're willing to even cross the line into zesty territory. I don't know. I like it made sense to me when I was younger even though I like, you know, didn't relate to it. I was still like, okay, I it guess was that's like just... a father-son thing. Like yeah, you never yeah. too old to come here. But it, no, it's a mafia thing. It's like a gang. See how Brick did it? He used to that. <laughs> he be calling somebody dad. <laughs> y'all let me know how y'all feel about that zestiness from bricks bricky bricky brick gang we're so gangster that i'm gonna give you a little smooch but yeah, it was also that, look, at, look, at, gangster. look at that picture and then look at tq look at his face in that picture the look of disgust <laughs> really and it, oh my that's the best part of the picture wait that's tq in that yeah. fucking photo remember that song west side by the, the dude from out here we remember tq yeah i remember tq i was just talking to fucking uh see tq's face in the back he's right there like yo what the fuck are these guys doing can i make it so that i only get to see big images because i i only want to look at large images yo i really want to see how this large this is like a crazy that's a video what the fuck is this but i just want to see the screen that's it. okay here we go <laughs> yeah that's wait that's tq on the right like wait that, really that that's full, him yeah TQ. who the fuck is that look, look that looks his, like o block louis <laughs> look at his face bro how would tq be yeah, around like, all these folks yeah. tq's in that cq <laughs> who is that turk with his head turned yeah, 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 yeah turk yeah. like hey Look at Adam, man. He lusting off this, man. He loving this. He like, man, I need to get in contact with Birdman. <laughs> He's watching this yeah, shit. right. He just got done smooching. They are no, like, like how big this white tea is. Hey, uh, Terry was young and thirty. You better watch up. Right? <laughs> Turk was off the dog food already. By yeah, then? yeah, yeah, they all were. Yeah, bro. I guarantee you that we can find photos of Birdman locking lips with a lot of his other young hitters. That's crazy. Yeah. And he really has the time in the day to sit there and go through Google and try to find pictures of two men kissing. Bet you he make a, a post on the No Jumper page on Instagram kissing another man. I bet you it might be the same dude he had with the Speedo on when he was wearing the thong. Yeah, that's just like how they were doing it. Damn, but has Birdman ever been asked about that? This? Looks like oh, for sure he has an interview that you did before. But I don't think <laughs> I've seen somebody do that before after one of your interviews for the thumbnail. Oh, yeah, look at this. Look, Lil Wayne kisses Birdman on the mouth on yeah. Six and Park. Yo, baby, they want to see the grill. They got to show. You got, they want to see the. Look. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I ain't tripping. I put all this really in my mouth for a reason. I got a hundred plus. I got fifteen cameras. You understand? Ooh, you want to see them? They big and they swole. So when you when you kiss, I gotta ask I ladies, no I got y'all up here. So when you kiss a girl, right? Hey, they I'm the only person he kiss. What? Come on, Wayne. It's crazy. I never seen this one. Oh no. Yeah, man. Adam Adam twenty two. Man, he's gonna uh, venture off into that other world. I see it coming. He's just gonna just come out the closet. Break gonna come out the closet. And you know, Lush, he already out the closet, man. He's so zesty. Look at him. He ain't got no no undershirt. Bad work right here, man. The three zestiest no jumper members. <laughs> what the fuck? So when you kiss a girl, right? Hey, they I'm on a person he kissed. Right? No, that was Wayne. Right? I'm on a person he kissed. Yeah, that's Wayne. Else, and then like Manny Fresh. Now. Uh, no, I'm saying no you just seen the kiss go by. That wasn't like that. Oh, wait, was it? Now, no, was it wasn't. And Brick wants to see it. He's trying to figure out how he going to kiss Adam. That, that, that don't remind you of Brick? I'm the only one that kiss Adam. <laughs> I believe that it's one That's right there. That's like Buster Rhymes or somebody. Really? Is that, is that, no, that's Adrian like, Wayne. He's wheezing in the red. Oh, shit. Don't try to throw Buster in the mix on this. Yeah. Right. Nah, he, he, had, he got enough going on. Yeah, I know. That's why I thought they did that. Man. And, Whoa. And, and Buster Rhymes has been reacting. Why does this yeah. say Birdman Lil Wayne? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably the tag they got under. But here. that's like one of rap's great secrets. Is like, oh, like, how, how did Birdman man i think that was chill i think you nailed it earlier i think it's too much ecstasy yeah are just like feeling themselves drugs was going on so brick 
clearly let y'all know that when it's a lot of drugs going on, these dudes get zesty. And if you know Brick, you know Brick for being off an awful lot of drugs. Yes, yes, yes. And remember on the, the taking over freestyle that Wayne did, he had the whole thing about, damn right, I kiss my daddy. I think they piss at how rich my daddy yeah, is. I'm just kidding something with my daddy. Call Miss Lee. She with my daddy. Mm, like, so he's basically yeah. like, yeah, like. He was standing on business. No, he was standing on ten of, There's a whole lot of daddy. This is what he has a lot of daddy, daddy for a done. great freestyle. <laughs> this is what is like hard for people to understand is that before the internet, you could have like a weird tradition or a, a weird status quo in one part of the city or one part of the world and it was okay now we have a monoculture online where it's like everybody is weighing in on everybody else's shit yeah. so it's kind of no like more in the closet shit. It, it's right. just like you know there's not going to be able to be something that's like completely unheard of in new york and then it's totally normalized in la like they're right. going to kind of like converge on a little bit more similar moral and you know what i think that's enough man we're gonna wrap this up here Thank you, everybody that made it this far in the video, man. I appreciate y'all rocking out with me, man, having fun. Yeah, man, like I said, it's a lot of zestiness going on at No Jumper. An awful lot of zestiness going on at No Jumper. And uh, I'm here to cover it. So look, like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to like the video, though. And click this video right here on the screen, man. Uh, we're going to drop some more content for y'all. Y'all stay tuned to Stingy K TV, and we back another one.